since she last graced our show back in 2015, she has since moved overseas and has been working hard to bring us new and exciting music. It is Toya DeLazy, the CEO of her own galaxy, who joins us now all the way from Paris. Yeah, I can be so demanding. I see jello go to ban. Put my sound so fun. That's it, Lala Noba. Gun is on my. Say before you go scratch, 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 scratch. How about Jenny Dumengan? Dumengan, Dumengan. Hey, who Dumengan? Also, pet is a cock. Welcome back to the Love Toya. Hey, how are you doing, Melissa? Are you good? Girl, I am good. I'm loving the blue background. You are just radiating so much light, almost as if you're sitting right next to me here on the couch. Yeah, it's a, it's, I love this wallpaper. I think it works well. <laughs> Magnifique. It definitely gets our stamp of approval. Now, Toya, so much to catch up on since your last appearance yeah. back in 2015. So please, girlfriend, I know it's difficult, but let's try bring us up to speed. <laughs> Whoa, 2015. So 2016, um... Moved to the UK. Um, 2016, I worked with the Powerpuff Girls. Um, I rewrote the theme song. 2017, I was the first black Powerpuff Girl. Uh, 2018, I'm working on Afro Rave, which is a synthesis of Zulu rap, bass, and dubstep. 2019, Funani has been voted best music video of 2019 by Boiler Room. And 2020, I've released more music. Kawe, for example, um, and I'm getting ready to travel, ready to tour, ready to drop an album, and COVID said what's up so that's the shortest briefest way i can tell you guys everything that's happened so yeah first of all we have to acknowledge the humble flex just the humble little tata just helped on a theme song um i just happened to be the first super hero representing the black young girls out there a show that i grew up obsessed with and that was quite iconic in how i created the sugar and spice and all things nice that is within myself so girl we definitely yeah. salute you we congratulate you for that thanks thanks yeah, I mean, no, uh, Incredible. And then, girl, to take it a step further, you then evolved musically, and that is what I love to see. I mean, your growth is not just what we experienced when you were last on the show, but it's also just brought in so many different influences, and that's what I want to dive into. Now, the music video we just saw was the latest video you shot before COVID hit. What has COVID quarantine life been like thus far? Um. So, okay, COVID hit. I was on some momentum, getting getting ready to tour um, and you know initially I was just like you know what we're going to brave this out I was out there doing the 21 day challenge when they announced like the first lockdown phase we're like okay we'll do it for the first 21 days and you know hyper like trying to keep the energy up um, and when you start moving past that you start realizing oh my goodness everything's changed the way we navigate the space has changed um, all the gigs are gone we're not going to be performing live um, so I got into live production, um, did a, sh a few shows for Africa Day, with Liver, did uh, some shows for Mars for Africa, also did some work here, performed for Pride Inside because we can't go out anymore. Mm. So a lot of things have been digitized. I also got to the point where I was like, I miss everything. I miss the people. I miss the vibe. I miss seeing people. I miss my community. Um, and yeah, it's been interesting. Right now, um, not touring, but traveling around France and we're shooting little videos, trying to keep it interesting. Um, and also kind of holidaying as well, like as much as I can. It's interesting because there is a heavy mass presence, but it just depends where you're at. I mean, in, in France now, it's mandatory for you to wear a mask indoors. We came from Spain, went to Barcelona, then we we're driving along the coast. and. And places like that, you know, they, it's 
fast so we could like yeah. chill on the beach and there weren't many cases so it was necessary it was just starting to get a bit tight so yeah. that's what's happening right now now, Toya, it's also interesting to me the fact that you've decided to still create music, but also you haven't let lockdown slow you down or keep you locked down creatively. So what music have you been working on so far? Okay, so I just dropped a new single titled Find the Boy. It's my own production. Been working on music for quite a while, so I was happy to finally release something that I've produced wholesomely. The song is about expectation. I hope you guys will check it out. Um, expectation versus reality and the fact that sometimes we feel like we cannot create our own fairy tales sometimes people think love is binary and during lockdown i got caught in my fields and i was just with my girl and i was just like whoa if it wasn't for love right now real real love i don't know how i'd be coping with this you know um and as much as we always talk about yo we want to be represented we want to celebrate ourselves when the opportunity comes it feels like we don't do it so I decided I'm releasing Find the Boy it's a bit of a slower pace a bit of a slow jam I feel like a lot has happened I mean the Black Lives Matter movement has been huge I mean people finally getting up um, and making a stand and moving towards equality um, all over the world it was huge the movement so after moments like this speaking about it marching about it it's time to live it you know yeah. we don't want our grandchildren doing the same thing mm. so I thought to take the opportunity to celebrate queer black love mm. to celebrate as a black person to reclaim that space and yeah that's what that song means to me as an artist that this is who I want to be as much as I evolve with the music I still want to share moments like this mm. and not be like oh I'm just Toya the pop star or the Afro race star it's like more mm. yeah it's I'm hoping you guys can identify with it and whoever has been feeling like, I can't celebrate my love. No, don't feel like that. Celebrate what you have. Mm. Reclaim your space. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for reminding us about this. And Toya, the legacy you are going to leave behind in the world is going to be vast, not only in the music space, but also in the creativity. Toya, before you go, I really just want to touch base more than ever on something that's very important. And I think a lot of women, as we head into Women's Month um, in the month oh. of August, is our health. Um, I know you mm. had a health scare that just shook you to the core. Please may you share that with our viewers. Yeah, I mean, ladies, ladies, sending you so much love. Please check your pap smears. It's so important. Um, had I not checked mine, um, I would have overlooked the fact that I had precancerous cells, which I got removed. And thanks to the pap smear, um, yeah, it, it didn't end devastatingly. So ladies and men who love ladies, check on them, tell them to go and check it out. Yeah. Look after yourself. If you're not feeling okay, go check yourself out. It's, yeah, it's the best you can do for yourself. This is the beginning of self-love. Mm. Celebrate your body, love your body and check on it. Mambu telezi, also kulumega. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> we are sending love to you all the way um, in Paris, in Paris. Thank you so much, Toya Delezi. Sending love to you and your entire extended international family. Goodbye. Goodbye. There you have it, South Africa, a true superstar, a legend in the South African music game and taking over internationally. A CEO of her own galaxy, as she likes to call it. That was Toya Delezi.